Hi folks and welcome to this tutorial. We're going to create this uh, multicolor layered ball and we at least you have to have the R20 of Cinema 4D. If you have the R21 it's fine as well. So let's get started and we're going to start from scratch with a little sphere. Going to make it let's say 32 centimeters in, uh, in the radius. Put everything into a cloner, that uh, cloner to zero and let's create eight uh, copies of our ball and now we're going to apply the random effector, random effector and uh, you're going to drive it with a noise and bring down the noise speed to let's say 20 and set it to indexed. Bring up the uh, the values for the position and also for the scale maybe to one and you can also play around with the uh, rotation a little bit if you want now you have something like this I'm going to extend the timeline a bit now you have something like this some moving spheres and uh, we're going to add a little displacer to our sphere like so, displace a deformer, go to the shading, apply a noise, go to the noise and set up the animation speed to 0.5. So it's looking like this. So right now we're going to add a volume measure and a volume builder. And we're going to put our cloner into the volume builder. And we're going to add a little sphere, like so. Drop it in here as well. Uh, so inside of our volume builder, you're going to place the sphere below the cloner and then set it to subtract. And now we're going to decrease the radius of our sphere a bit. So it's looking like this. Uh, so the cloner spheres are subtracted from our main sphere and therefore you have some holes inside. So inside of our uh, volume builder we're going to pull down the voxel size to 10 for now. Uh, grab our sphere, set it to perfect primitive and also go to apply a smooth layer and we put it on top of everything and uh, in the smooth layer let's play around with the settings maybe two uh, one let's set the voxel distance to one you can play around with the settings of course and find a better result if you want so with that set we're going to apply our material where the uh, multicolor layer magic is happening and to work with the shader, we're going to uh, activate the interactive render region so we can see stuff a little bit faster. Going to create a standard material. Inside of the material, we're going to activate the luminance channel at first and going to apply a color gradient. We're going to set the color gradient to a spherical 3D. So we have something like this, this, and we're going to set the star to zero. And now inside the gradient, we're going to just load in a preset for the sake of this tutorial. And I'm going to, well, let's say, we're going to the pattern two. But now it's just looking like this for the moment. But you, if you look inside of this, uh, if you look inside. So let's play back the animation. I'm waiting for a bigger hole. Let's see. Maybe you have to bring up the sizes of the years. Maybe 40. Maybe 40 is a little bit too big, but just to see what we are doing. So now you have. Uh, we have a 3D gradient which is um, 
blue on the outside and white on the inside and to uh, you know you can play around with the layers if you bring down the radius so now you have the black on the outside because it's set to cycles you can pull it all the way down just cycle through the different colors so I like to have it black on the outside Maybe like so, well, maybe like so. Now you have very thin layers of colors and a black one on the outside. And to make it uh, look more, uh, to make it a look, to make it look a bit better, I'm going to uh, activate the ref reflectance channel and add a uh, just a reflection layer and set the Fresnel to maybe glass like so yeah why not but fine this is not looking too bad and now we're going to add a camera zero out the camera pull it back so that's looking interesting as well doesn't it no, doesn't really matter pull it out and just leave the settings like they are for now and we're going to add a, a disk we're going to use a disk for reflection therefore we're going to add a new material and inside of that material we're going just to activate the luminance channel and you can turn off everything else and now we're going to increase this disk and bring it up now you can see you have a very decent reflection on top of uh, our three -year. and then we're going to add a sky object <coughs> to give it a little bit more more of reflection all around the sphere and in the sky object we're going to use a gradient as well make a new material go to the color channel apply a gradient and set the gradient to 2d v and just add a third color maybe like a grayish bluish kind of color like so pull it back maybe like so maybe a little bit of turbulence and then we're going to make that invisible to the camera by compositing tech now you have something like that pretty neat and you can go to your motion uh, volume builder and maybe bring down the voxel size to one so we have a thinner or finer mesh on top of everything or you can bring it up so the voxel size is something you can play around with uh, to create different results and um, of course you can give the random uh, effect a different speed or different values and just play around with that mm, but that's the basic setup for everything and um, if you want a quick render of uh, your your animation let's go to the render settings go to the options turn off transparency reflection you don't have shadows and you can bring down the reflection to a fraction the refraction reflection depth of three we don't have blurriness you can turn off everything of that shit here don't need that and then we're going to apply the physical renderer set it to automatic and maybe that the threshold to 30 and the anti-aliasing to gaussian why not and that will make the render pretty fast in most cases that's it folks thanks for watching see you soon bye bye